guys, it's Lisi, your vintage lover, without the other Lisi. And today I thought it'd be fun if I did my vintage wardrobe and I show you the clothes that I wear on a daily basis at our vintage for all you vintage lovers out there. Today you'll notice I am filming on like a white sheet. This is thanks to the K Bauer Photography. That's my sister. She let me use her white set today. So that's pretty cool. I'm in a studio. It's pretty neat. You can go find her on Instagram. She's got a really cool Instagram page, K Bauer Photo. Let's see what I, we have. Okay, so what I'm wearing is a really cute burgundy 60s shift dress, which I got at the same place as this dress. This is probably a little older than the 60s. A cute little black dress with a white collar. And I found this at a place in Atlanta called Kudzu that was like a really cool find. They had some cool stuff. I got another dress there too. A little black shift dress. And that was a really fun place to go. I really like this outfit when I'm like doing a little bit more modern 50s. I like pairing this with like tights and high socks. You can see it's kind of short. You can see in one of our other videos, the headbands challenge. That's me wearing it. So yeah, cute outfit. Okay. Next, this is the dress that I wore for my six, Sweet 16. You can see the video also. We did a Sweet 16 vlog. This is a gorgeous vintage 50s prom dress. It was, I think it was handmade. Like, it's really nice and you can see like the hem and stuff. So anyway, I found this on Etsy. There's a lot of really cool stuff on Etsy. If you're like interested in wearing vintage, they have a lot of cool vintage clothes on Etsy. That was where I found this. Adorable dress. I love it so much. Go see it in action in our other video. Or This is a skirt that I found. It is a gorgeous copper color. It's got a really tiny waist with a brown belt. And I found this at the Scott's Antique Show up in Atlanta. Um, I was a really random find. The lady was so nice at her booth. I wish I knew the name of her booth. Um, but I found this. I just knew. I absolutely adored it. It fit me perfectly. Um, you can see it in my holiday outfit idea video. I am wearing it with a nice blue button down. So I found this. This I often wear with button downs because it's just like that classic 50s switchy skirt that everyone just wants to like twirl around it, which I have done and it is so much fun. <laughs> the same time that I found that brown skirt, I found this adorable dress. Let me see. This dress I have not found any labels on and I think it was homemade. It is a 50s, a cute little 50s like day dress. I don't know. It's got like some some like sparkles on it. I wish I knew exactly what occasion this would be for. This one has a tiny waist. The first time I tried it on, I just felt like a tiny little princess. It's like about an 18 inch waist or so. I plan on wearing this to like a dance. I just I love the way it swishes. I love wearing it with a cute pair of heels. So this one was fun too. Okay, so the next dress in my vintage closet wardrobe was a dress that I got for my 16th birthday from Bay Elise. And she found this dress for me at a place in Savannah, Georgia, where I also got some recent dresses of mine. I love this dress. It's like a cute little 50s. This one I would place for my like 50s, 60s. There is not a tag in here. I feel like that's a lot, really common with a lot of vintage clothes I find, so I don't know. I mean, this one's so me too. I'd have altered a little, but if it's been perfect now, it's a gorgeous color. I love this color. These are good finds when you find stuff like that at vintage stores. This dress I got for Christmas. Um, you can find this. This is from, this is not actually like vintage. Like this was not made in the 50s, but it is a big like 50s skirt. And it's just like a sweetheart little dress. If you cannot tell, it's like dark purple. Look, I mean, take this tag off. It's dark purple with black polka dots on it. And this I got I got online from for Christmas from Lindy Bop, which is a really cool website. I think they're in the UK, and they make like retro clothing, but like nowadays. So it's not old. This is new, but it's in the style of like a little retro dress. I love this one. I also got this dress from Lindy Bop. Um, this one's more of a winter dress. It feels super elegant when you put it on because this like collar here is really like low, like a scoop collar. 
And so I feel really glamorous when I wear this with like some nice stockings and heels and do my hair up glamorous. And even though it's like leopard print was is a little like modern, I think it still like embodies the style of this one as very 50s, like this kind of like jacket front. I don't know. I like wearing this one. And when you're wearing all these dresses, there is a must that you have to have under all of these. And that would be my big puffy crinoline skirt that I wear underneath all of them. It gives it that vintage retro puff, so it feels even more authentic. I love wearing this under all my dresses. People comment on how puffy it is, because nowadays like, you don't get to wear like big princess skirts like that. So it just makes it really fun and big. So if you wear vintage, I suggest you find one of these if you don't have one already. I'm not sure where this one came from. Maybe Lindy Bop as well. Um, I got it for Christmas, so I don't know. So that's a good idea too when you're dressing vintage. If you want to dress vintage, but you know it's like really expensive to find good quality vintage clothes, and you're really crafty, you can sew them. I sew some of my own vintage clothes as well. These is this is one of the dresses I made. I have made several. I made this shift dress. So it is a 60s shift dress. And I found this pattern at Joann's, and it was just, it was a vintage pattern. So it really felt authentic when I, like, picked it up. I was like, okay, this is, like, the real deal. This isn't just some repro. And I made this. It was pretty easy to make. One of the easiest ones because it's just, like, an A-line, like, shape, just a shift dress. And I was really satisfied with it. So even if you're not that handy, you might want to look into sewing your own clothes. Like, it was fun. I did several more after that and I'm in the process of one right now so it's a good idea too if you're like really into vintage clothes but they're expensive because I understand it is really expensive that's it for dresses I'm gonna show you some shoes so I feel like a must if you're gonna dress 50s is like to at least have a pair of these in your closet these I even wear like with cute outfits modern day outfits because they kind of add this little like retro twist to them sadly the only place you can find these is Payless so they're not like real leather or anything. I had to purchase these for Bye Bye Birdie that I was in one year, and they've been worth it though. I have worn them otherwise with some of my cute vintage 50s outfits that I just felt like rocking to school. So I really like these. They're kind of old, they're kind of deteriorating, but it's a good purchase if you really want to have that authentic vintage wardrobe. Um, I also think you always have to have some heels that are vintage. So these I found at DSW and they are the brand Naturalizer which is kind of like a granny brand. Like they're really like comfortable shoes that are good for you. But I saw them and they're like my style because obviously I like older clothes. So I like these older style shoes. Um, they're just like a T structure. They look like a character shoe and they're really comfy but I like pairing them with a lot of vintage dresses that I wear because I just feel like they look good with them so these were not that hard to find you can find any like these I like the little like business type shoe part right there I don't know what you call that I like that though anyone knows what that call put in the comments I have a pair of like my I call these my I love Lucy shoes because they just look like something she would wear I know these got more popular in like the business era of like the 80s and 90s too so you should be able to find some in like your mom's closet or something. I didn't. I also went to DSW and found these the brand Naturalizer. Look into their shoes because a lot of them are very older and I like them. So these I found there as well. And they're just like a little, little pump. Um, and I get my use out of these with like my brown skirt and stuff like that. You can probably see all these shoes and my vintage outfit idea videos um and a lot of these dresses maybe too so keep watching all our other videos if you want to see another one i have more vintage dresses to show y'all if you want to see it's in my closet just comment below tell me that please go sub and like all our other videos comment subscribe share you can go follow us on instagram and you can find Lisey's pinterest you can find my instagram you can find her Instagram. Um, we're on social media, so you can find our Instagram. 
and yeah, just keep up with us. We'll have lots of cool videos. We post every Thursday a new video, so keep watching, and kiss kiss.